Pleasant Prairie Outlet Mall Supercharger. And look what just got here before I did. This is actually the first Model X that I've seen in the wild. I've seen them at service centers in the stores, charging at the service centers in the stores, but I actually haven't seen one out in the wild yet. Tow hitch, I've been interested to see what that looks like. Oh, and this is a manufacturer car. And surprisingly, this is almost exactly like the Eco Hitch. Really, really freaking close. P90D, no ludicrous on this one. A few rattles when the doors open and close, though. Speaking of closing doors, I should probably close mine. Let's see what the battery number is. I wonder if it's in the same spot. Haven't had enough chances to play with a X yet. Ninety kilowatt hour, four hundred volt DC. It is a E type battery. Interesting. Speaking of that, I don't think I've ever checked to see what mine was. What is mine on my 90? I got an A, 90 kilowatt A pack. Huh. At least I'm not restricted to 90 kilowatt charge speeds. Tee hee. Those of you with signature and early classic Model S's know what I'm talking about. And this seriously looks like. Matt's, nope, it's a Illinois plate, not Matt's car. Is this, yeah, this is an autopilot. We got 817EL, it's a plain 90D, just like mine. Leather next gen seats. Very nice. Oh, they got the uh, armrest. Very cool. So it is not low. Oh, that little stinker got in the back. So, anyways, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood with a blinding white Model X. The white just doesn't look right. It's just too white and plain, especially that front end. I really dislike that they got rid of the nose cone. I mean, they could have improved it and made it look better. But the nose cones on the noses on the new new versions, the new X3 and the new refreshed Model S, I mean, it just looks so plain and nothing. It, there's too much void, empty space. Although technically, I guess it's supposed to have a license plate on the front. Smile, cheese. <laughs>